Hello, I'm Evelyn Hicks, Director of Clinical Education for Pulse Medical, distributors of Endoform and Hydrofarablin. I am excited to bring you a new resource tool that you can use at the bedside to help you determine the level of wound proteases that is in your wound. Of course, everyone wants to do appropriate wound bed prep, debride and clean the wound as needed. However, do you know when the wound proteases are out of balance? We've developed a great two-piece resource guide that can be used at the bedside to help you determine it. Let me walk you through how to use this piece. The first section is reminding you of all of the wound phases of healing and that we do get caught in the inflammation phase and that's when your wound proteases are out of balance. Staying in this phase too long can certainly hinder healing. The presence or absence of endoform antimicrobial in your wound bed helps to determine where you are with your protease levels. Here's how to use it. Endoform antimicrobial can be used in two ways, unlike any other collagen dressing. The first way is helping with the wound protease balance. How do you implement this? When you start with Endoform, you want to use two pieces of the Endoform antimicrobial going in. You want to give that wound bed enough of the sacrificial substrate so that it can consume the Endoform versus interrupting the intact extracellular matrix with the host. So for those of you who see your patients once a week in the clinic, applying two pieces is okay. When they come back for their dressing reapplication that following week, and Endoform isn't present, as we're indicating here, that's letting you know you need to double up on the amount of Endoform. So instead of putting two pieces, you can try four pieces. The goal here is to load that wound bed with enough of the sacrificial substrate in order for that wound to start healing. On the back of this resource guide, we have collected pictures from clinicians all over the country showing us how Endoform looked at various stages in the wound healing process. This first column is just showing you various wound types and how Endoform has disappeared. They've used Endoform for a week at least, two to three pieces, and yet there's no residual Endoform. That's your visual cue that your proteases are still out of balance. Continue to add on additional sheets of the Endoform antimicrobial until you get to the point where Endoform is visible. The second column is showing you moderate Endoform presence. That's letting you know that you're getting your wound proteases in balance and that perhaps you can decrease the amount of pieces or the amount of time that you're using Endoform antimicrobial. But certainly when you get to this level of high residual Endoform, that is letting you know that your wound proteases are in balance. This is phase two of how Endoform works. This is actually Endoform serving as a scaffold for your granulation tissue to grow into. So that's not to be removed because that's helping to expedite healing. Many of our customers will actually order several pieces of this guide so that they can laminate it and put one in each of the examination rooms. It serves as a great visual guide for your wound care techs and nurses to know when Endoform is present and when it's not. For extra copies of these or for more information from your wound care specialist or clinical education manager, please contact us at www.apulsemed.com. I'm Evelyn Hicks, Director of Clinical Education for A Pulse. Thank you.